like in the video. You know, maybe it's not going to be too easy for me, because I am never one to ask for help. And you know, I'll be the first one to, to, to go out to a person and be like, it's okay to ask for help. Asking for help is a sign of strength. You should always ask for help. Only the strong ask for help. The weak keep it to themselves. I know I've said that once or twice to people. But... You know, I'm always the one that's not asking for help. And I was like, well, if I need to figure something out, I'll go do it. I don't want to bother you or I don't want to bother this person. Or I just don't want to bother people, I guess, with my problems, which, you know, in a world where so much problems are going on and, you know, you can always find somebody who just has it way worse than you. It's like it's it's, it's hard to, to open your mouth and ask for you know, something that you might need, something that you might find um, helpful or important to you. So I just got to stay quiet. Hmm. But recently I've uh, I've had a wonderful time. Like, just up to the last few, I mean, a couple weeks maybe, just really been able to be, you know, be present and interact and connect with people which is I can't say new but it feels amazing it feels amazing and I've had uh, a revelation you could say <laughs> just maybe I got a better idea of what I want to do I got a I got a chance to sit and experience Ira Wolf an amazing musician in an intimate setting where she she told a lot of her stories and you know like her music is incredibly touching first of all and second of all her, her stories really put a maybe a setting or a mindset or you know the struggle behind what she did and you know I can hear I, I understand it I hear it and that's why when I was sitting there and just experiencing everything she was saying it, it really it really changed me it pushed me I even said something to to some friends of mine, just the fact that um, you know, being stuck in purgatory, of of not necessarily indifference, but a purgatory of indecisiveness and indecision, you know, where you're sitting in one spot for for forever, and you're looking left and you're looking right and you're looking any direction you can to say that'd be cool, and that that would also be cool. And that's kind of, that could be cool too, you know, but you remain in one spot because there's too many decisions and you don't really know what you want. Everything's cool. Everything's awesome. You just sit there because you don't know. And it's a hard place to be kind of, you know, it's, it's cool. You're, you're st you, you kind of remain in your comfort zone. You know, you remain in your safety bubble, no matter how far I've pushed that safety bubble. I feel like I'm in my safety bubble. And you sit around and, you know, as much as I'm doing, I feel like I could always do more. And I want to do more. And it was Ira who who showed me that, you know, you kind of have to go and do it. Kind of jump. And you'll be hard, but it'll work out in the end. And from her personal stories, you know, I, I really felt a great connection. It's like, yeah, and I, I've done this. On a smaller scale, I've done this and I felt this, and I and I've proved this to myself countless times, over and over. I've proved this to myself that it will happen. You can do it. And I really want to do it all the way this time. I really just want to push it as far as I can, so I can I can do what she did, to reach somebody to to do what they want to do, to push them to. Something that they've they've been maybe too afraid to try, or they've been stuck in a safety bubble of their own that they can't get out of, and they're caught in indifference and living in purgatory, and they want something different, but they don't know what that difference is. They want something new, but they don't know what that new thing is because they've never experienced it, so they don't know what to look for. 
and I want to share something. I want to share a piece of me. I want to share, you know, my whole heart with everybody. I mean, that's my goal is to, to share love, isn't it, for everybody? I want to give that to people. I want to give that to people everywhere. A long time ago, I realized, um, you know, that we, everything that we do, everything that all of us do, it's all because we want love, you know. Not always do we get love from our family. We we, we do our best. I do our, my best. They do their best. I'm not cold, I promise. It's really warm. I just like how this looks. I'm wearing my arms like a cape. But, you know, everything we do is, is for love. Whether we do it in the right way or the wrong way. Whether we go out and fight for it, like physically, aggressively, or take it by force, which that's never really love. It's all manipulation. Or we try to buy it, or we try to look like we, 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 we want it, or we look like, I don't know, buy fancy things, because it's like, oh, people will love me because I have all these nice things. Whatever we say, the jokes we make, the people we spend time with, we all we want back is is to feel like we're heard, we're cared for one way or another, that we matter, that we're appreciated for our own thoughts, you know, our individuality. These are what we we all want, and I and I understand that, and that's when as soon as I got that, I was like, I'll give it to you. I find you fascinating regardless, you know. You're living your own, in your own universe, experiencing your own things that I could never dream of. And then you can share that with me so that I could experience it, you know. So I could I could be a part of it. I don't have to be there physically. As long as you give me a, night, a decent enough story, you know, I can extrapolate. And I have an image in my head and I was like, oh my God. And I could take emotions out of it and feel as though I was there. And I find beauty within everybody. Every single person. Hmm. I mean, that's why I want to go and meet them. Whoever's meant for me. Whoever I'm meant for. To go out there and meet them. You know, I've been, I've been striving so hard to get something out into the world that will allow me to just share my heart, share my mind. And, you know, I've written and I've made art and it wasn't until music came into my life that it was really something that uh, kind of flipped everything upside down or maybe it flipped everything right side up and kind of pointed everything into one direction into one point of focus and now with, with the release of my album I feel really good about because it was a lot of work because I didn't ask for help But now it's finding out and CDs left and right. I feel like things are coming together in the point of, you know, who I am and what message I'm trying to share. And, you know, I think I finally, f I can't say I finally found myself. I don't think we can ever find ourselves truly, but I feel like I'm getting really close and I keep getting closer and closer. And I feel like now is the time that I can start sharing a lot more you know one on one closer relationships and try to inspire people that's going to take some work and I'm working, I'm trying, I'm putting things away I'm putting money away and I'm investing myself every single day whether you know through work or through taking the money that I earned from, from teaching and, or substituting I should say it's not a difference, I teach them discipline I teach them a lot of things Side note to all the teachers, substitutes are not horrible people. We're not dumb. We can we can carry our own, you know. I can run a classroom pretty dang well. And all it takes is like three seconds. Side note over. Um, 
but that's why that's why I'm here. That's why I want to I wanted to come here and and say like I I think I would really appreciate your help. You know. I'm I'm making another GoFundMe. Uh, to to hopefully get people that you know understand and that can actually give you know I'm not trying to get from money from people that, who can't redistribute the wealth. I've been doing fine up to this point, and you know I'm not gonna die, but I really want to feel some support. You know, and not only living my dreams, but helping other people live their dreams. You know, I've, I've felt the power that musicians have, you know, over somebody's life. I mean, I just experienced it myself. Just, just a few words. Sometimes is all it takes. Just a, a heart that listens and somebody that can share some of their most brutal parts of their, of their story and how they got out of it. We all like hearing that. We all can enjoy and learn from it. That's why I made a GoFundMe, you know, wrote a little story too. Wrote a little story a few years ago and just a little updated, but I think it's pretty cool. I want to save up for for a van so I can, you know, have a place to sleep. I, I'm, I'm not I'm not asking for luxury. I'm, I've been happy with minimalistic, you know. I can eat once a day. I've done it plenty of times. Food is not that necessary. I know I'm crazy. I know. I know. You don't have to tell me. I know. But, you know, very minimalistic. Small old van. I'll trick it out myself. You know, I have the, the capabilities. I put a bed in it. I build whatever I need to build in it so I can, you know, live on the road and be on the road for as long as possible. You know, I've been, I've been on the road for about a month last year, you know, traveling the West Coast and touching people and touching people's hearts, not physically. Always ask for permission when touching, when wanting to touch people physically. And I mean, it worked out great. It was beautiful. I, I connected with a lot of beautiful people, and I really felt the support that time. But I need, I need more support because I want to hit the whole country. I want to hit every single city. I want to go there and I want to leave a mark. You know, and I don't have any expectation or any desires of anything beyond that. You know, I just want to go there. I want to play some music. I want to tell some stories. Make connections. And hopefully, you know, something something will happen. Something will change for whoever was there. A transformation, a personal transformation. Just as I have experienced. I don't want to share that. But, you know, I want to be on the road for as long as possible. Maybe years. Because, you know, when, when you're doing that, there's not necessarily time. I just want to be out there and doing it. And it takes, it takes money to start it up. You know, like I said, I've been investing myself, but it takes money. That's why I'm, I'm, I, I made that GoFundMe. And I'm making this video so that hopefully you can, first of all, watch this video, hear what I'm saying, and go and go fund me. I'm going to try to make it gofundme.com slash Andre Psyche, hopefully. I don't remember. It's already, it's already made. I don't remember what I did it. But at the same time, you don't have to just give me money. You can just buy things for me. I make quality things. I make sure that they last. I make sure that they're, they're beautiful. And again, they are going to a place that's let's be given back to you one way or another. And my website is andrepsyche.com. I would really like to hit the road by you know next summer. Right now is uh, July, July thirty first. You know, there's still August. I'm I'm planning to work next school year. 
put out, put away money because you know I'm not I'm not expecting anybody to do anything for me. That's why I don't ask for help because I I don't expect it. But it'd be really nice to experience it. So I'll be working throughout the year, and then hopefully by the end of next year, next school year, you know, June probably twentieth. 2019 I would like to I'd like to hit the road and drive and drive and drive and drive and drive you know, obviously stop at cities as well all the cities every single one but I need your help pretty please I think that might be it.